Hello, hello, hello. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm Kelly from Deep Soul Tarot. Today we are going to be uh, doing, this is going to be a message for basically mental health. May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So I've decided to do Mental Health Mondays, at least for the month of May. And I may continue with mental health check-ins after that if it goes well, if everyone's interested in doing it, if I get a response. But this is going to be a reading for the collective for mental health. Now it is a general read, so it may not um, resonate for all of you. But, so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But here's the thing about this particular reading. I do feel that everybody can take something from this reading, regardless. And you don't have to have severe mental health issues. I'm just talking about the ups and downs kind of everyday life sometimes or things we may be dealing with. And before we start the reading, I have a few things that I'd like to cover in, in regards to the mental health awareness simply because I feel that it's important. And so I'll try to go through this as quickly as possible, but I just want to touch on this. And I will have this timestamp, so if you don't want to go through all this information, all this blah, 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 whatever, all this information, I will timestamp it. You can go straight to the reading. Okay, I hope I remember to do that, but I will try. I'll try to remember to timestamp it. Okay, so in general, it's important that you um, identify the things that you may be struggling with. So um, it's good for you overall. Not only just mental health, but physical health and, and everything in your life as a person, just in general. So it, it's good to identify what you're struggling with, um, maybe write down your feelings to, to help get your perspective, whether you journal or you just like to write things down, or maybe it's even poetry. And uh, reach out to someone um, who is or, or, or those who are understanding and supportive, whether it be family, friends. I'm calling it Soul Tribe, so here at the channel and maybe other Soul Tribes you may have. Um, I want this to be a safe space. So if you would like to participate in Mental Health Mondays and come here, I would like people to, and I'm probably going to premiere it, so you can all talk in the chat down below. I won't be a live stream, but it'll be premiered where you, you're all able to chat with each other. Um, and I want to keep it as a, um, a safe environment. I want people to feel comfortable to be themselves, not be judged or attacked. Okay, so everybody keep that in mind if you do join, please. Don't, no negativity. No negativity at all allowed. Um, and anyway, so you can, you can think about childhood issues maybe that you've had, past occurrences, present problems, or unsettling feelings, that kind of nature. Okay, and I kind of do that with readings in general, just for general energies. But this one's specific. And you know, a lot of people, many people suffer in silence. And that can make things so much harder, especially over time. Because when you're alone and you're dealing with this stuff, and it, it helps to know that other people are, are, uh, can relate and maybe dealing with the same things that you are. So, um, going through this process, I'm just trying to think, going through this process can help you cope with the stresses of life. It can help you be physically healthy overall. Stress is very bad on the body, as many of us already know. It can help you have good relationships, whether that be with family, if you have children, relationships like a partner, you know, a love relationship, or that kind of thing. And most importantly, really, a good relationship with yourself. Because if you can have a good relationship with yourself and you have a balanced life, that means that you can exude that and have good relations with healthy people, other people. You know, if you, if you, I think you get what I mean, but um, it can help you. And if you do have toxic people come in your life or negative people, you have better coping skills or a better idea of how to deal with that and put up boundaries so that doesn't affect your life overall. It can also give you a sense of community. So a lot of people, again, like, like um, I said, uh, isolate. When they feel down or depressed, they'll isolate. And, and when you feel better, you may be more apt to go out and join, you know, clubs or, or just, just go out and have fun with friends, that kind of thing. It also can affect work. It helps you work productively. And, more, and the biggest thing here is to realize your full potential. You realize your full potential. <laughs> you realize your full potential. And um, I'm recording this at night, and I want to get it out, so I'm, I wanted to do it earlier, and things happened, so it didn't quite happen. So pardon me if I stumble over some of my words. So you can realize your full potential, but that's, 
that is getting to know yourself in a way that can help you be your genuine you. You know, you can get in touch with your higher self. And that is more self-awareness and more soul searching, if you will. So they say that I just did when I was I was researching this a little bit and they have four types of mood disorders or four types of mental health categories, I guess. So mood disorders, they consider like depression. Some people are bipolar and that kind of thing. Anxiety disorders. A lot of us deal with anxiety, myself included. I have bouts of depression myself personality disorders and then they have some that are more severe such as psychotic disorders you know like schizophrenia and things like that are more genetic and um things that it can be um what do you call that it can be treated it can be you can live with that however you have to, many people have to take medication and have a good support system and that kind of thing in order for it not to not get out of hand um, because I don't know if, if, I mean, I'm not schizophrenic and I know one in my family is, but I have known people with schizophrenia. I have actually lived with somebody who had schizophrenia. Nice guy. He was triggered by a lot. He was, uh, unfortunately doing meth. So he was, he got out of hand and, um, he was a little, uh, you know, a higher degree of a mental health issue, but I've known other people. And as long as they take their medication and they, you know do the things they're supposed to do in daily life and and if things get to them and they get stressed out which can trigger them with the schizophrenia and then they they deal with mental health people or a support system that can help them so um i don't know if any of you out there have those you know type of mental health issues which you don't have to divulge here but if you do you are welcome here and i don't want you to feel ostracized or pushed aside because you have something that like I said, I think, I believe, I'm not sure, but schizophrenia, I believe, is genetic or maybe it's just a, um, a mutation of cells or something. I'm not sure how people become schizophrenic, but uh, I'm not an expert by any means, but I'm just letting you know. So, But this is for any type of mental health issue. And there are three keys to it, which is cognitive health, emotional health, and behavioral health. So we're going to hopefully get some messages from the universe and our higher guides to help us with that. Okay, I'm almost done. Um, so then there they consider the four C's and they call it's the cause, control, cure, and cope. So the cause can be, um, well, there are things in your life that can cause it. It can be family issues. It can be, but things like schizophrenia, there really is no, it's not like somebody caused it. You know, people have illnesses and, um, so other people can't change that. They can't cure that, but you can control it. Same with other mental health issues. And you can't necessarily cure, uh, I mean, as far as I know, things even like anxiety. I think when people have anxiety issues, you can find coping skills to help you, so it lessens it. But I don't think you ever actually cure it, but it may be less present in your life. Uh, but you can learn to cope with everything. No matter what the issue may be, you can learn to cope. So. Um, so ways to reduce problems, relax, try to reduce stress, meditate, find ways to learn and be creative, spend time in nature, connect with others, look after your physical health, try to get enough sleep. Oh, <laughs> a lot of us can't do that. So, I mean, you think of what's, what makes you happy and, and helps release some stress or helps you. Last but not least, awareness is important because it can give you an insight into your beliefs and then determine whether they are positive or holding you back. Did you catch that? Awareness is important because it can give you an insight into your beliefs about mental health and your life and things that are, are in your life and then determine whether they are positive or holding you back. So we don't want the ones that are holding you back. We want to find ways to work through it and push those aside and become healthy and find the positive and again be our better authentic self. So awareness equals knowledge and knowledge equals that you know what you need to, you need, you know what you need to do and the direction you need to go to make changes to improve and be successful. Okay. I mean, I wrote some of these notes down so I wouldn't forget. I'm sorry. That was a bit long. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But it's in the mental health awareness reading to me is very, I mean, month, not reading the month is very important. This is a very important issue and it affects so many people, especially with COVID 
and the way the world is today, it is, I mean, I have things come up on my feed on YouTube, and I don't know why I click on some of these, because then it brings more up, just all the things that are happening in the world, these shootings, and people that are being killed, and oh my god, it's, it's just, it's just sad, it's really sad, anyways, so what I did was I redirected myself, and you know, did a little uh, meditation after that, because it was a little stressful, so what I'm going to do is, now I have sort of made up my own spread here. I found another one online, and I may use that one for the next reading. Let's see how this one goes. It is sort of in the, the if you're familiar with the Celtic Cross, and I don't usually use specific spreads per se in my readings. But for this kind of thing, I think it's important. And I may try and come up with a different one if this one, you know, I just, just to get more information. Um, but it's, it's in the form of the Celtic cross. So it goes this way, this way, and then there's some on this side. And so I'm going to have to refer to the paper that I have over there. But just bear with me. And, um, oh, that's interesting. That fell sideways. Um, bear with me and we'll get through it. All right. And I don't want to rush through it. So, okay. So I apologize if this does end up being kind of a long one. I hope you will stick around because I feel that the information that comes through is... Uh, hold on, I want to make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um, the information that comes through, I think, is going to be very, very beneficial for um, all of us. Okay, so if I do need to clarify, I will. However, I don't want to spend too much of your time here. But I do... Oh, damn. This table's too damn small. I'm going to put these cards over here for the moment. Okay. I'm going to put this here because there's just not enough room. Um, well, Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. I'll let her sit out, but to me, this is kind of an obvious card. So maybe we're going to touch on some things we need to take out of our life. Okay? Our lives. Okay. Here we go. Card number one, which is basically the present issue. Queen of Cups. Okay, right off the bat, for some of you, I'm hearing that you may be having um, a hard time finding things that make you happy. Um, hold on, let me hold the card so I can... The thing about the Queen of Cups is... And usually I get a different energy from this, but this is a whole different reading. So the Queen of Cups here is holding on to that chalice. And it's something that means so much to her. She cherishes that. So I want all of you out there to think about something that really makes you happy. That makes your heart just fill with joy and be warm and... um it could be the beach, because she is on the beach. I just heard that. I don't know why, but... Um, during this, it's, it's basically trying to bring into your life something... It's... It, oh, I just heard it. Spirit just said, go to your happy place. When something in your life, whether it's depression, anxiety... Whatever is occurring in your life at this point, right now, go to your happy place. Find, think of what your happy place is. For me, it's the beach. That's probably why I thought of that. For me, it's the beach. But I do love the mountains also. But there's something about the sound of the ocean and the smell of the ocean air. I am a water sign. That might be why, but I don't know. Um, I've always loved the beach. I would love to live. I'm trying to. I've been trying to live near the beach for a long time. I'm in California, but it's so expensive. It's expensive everywhere here, but uh, near the beach is like, it's just crazy expensive. Okay. Ah, this is very interesting. I'm liking this already. The Hermit card. So this one I have as the energy surrounding you. And although they say... That when you have mental health issues or you have depression, not to isolate and spend time alone. I am not one to say not to. That you, you, I'm not one to say that you should isolate, but I'm a loner. I am a loner. And I'm the happiest when I'm by myself. And that may, some of you may feel the same way. You know, in a life when we have to go to work 
and you're dealing with stuff all the time. You have to do run errands, you have to go grocery shopping, and sometimes I cherish my time alone. People don't understand it. You know, when you're a loner, people just don't get it. So if anybody out there's loners, feel free to mention that in the comments or whatever, because, or if anybody else is, because sometimes I feel like I stand alone. I don't understand the constant need to be with other people, but that is kind of human nature. I feel like I'm the oddball out. Um, so, I mean, I do this, I do other things. I like to read, I love music, I, you know, whatever. I have plenty of things to keep me busy by myself. But anyways, with the Hermit card here, the energy surrounding you is, I am hearing you need to, this is soul searching. The Hermit is, is doing some soul searching and this is beautiful. This is beautiful energy already because for a mental health awareness month, what better way to get to know yourself but to be, spend some time alone, just you alone in your thoughts and do some soul searching because the answers you have for either some of your problems or some of the things going on in your life is within you. You have more strength within you than many of you realize. Okay, so keep that in mind. You know, the, sometimes we can shock ourselves when we have to go through things and we realize how resilient and strong we actually are. We don't know it until we go through it. And then you get through it and you look back and go, what the hell, how did I even get through that? You know, but so what I'm saying is the queen here, is, now there are no, there's no gender in readings. Feminine, masculine energy. We have both of those in us. Okay, so I'm just referring to energies. So the Queen of Cups here is looking at her chalice, something that means a lot to her. But like I said, I'm hearing, go to your happy place. Whatever in your mind, I mean, you, you can go actually physically go if you can, um, but if you can't, say you're on a bus or you're at work, just for a moment, go to your happy place. But make sure you spend some time with your thoughts and, and to do some soul searching. Uh, for right now, I believe that's, that's probably one of the first steps in getting in touch with yourself and realizing what it is that is really really bothering you causing the anxiety the depression and it's going to take a lot of digging and it may it's going to be painful i'm not going to lie it is going to be uh, painful so we're going to do the top one which is kind of like the overlying energy page of wands page of wands pardon me when i'm getting some energy i'm i'm just trying to channel the the energy and the messages So the page of wands, page of, pages are messengers, and it's a young energy, and wands are fire. So what I'm hearing here is, for some of you, and like I said, again, this may not resonate for all of you, it's just a general reading, but for some of you, you're trying to find the passion, you're trying to find and regain the passion in life. So there may be a good number of you that are depressed or going through depressing times, you know, where some days you're okay, sometimes you're not. But you know, when you're depressed, sometimes you get in that dark place and you just have a hard time finding the joy in anything, really. And um, I understand that. So I've, I've been through that myself, so I understand. So with the Page of Wands, it's like you're trying to find that passion. So already I'm hearing that trying to, trying to get to know yourself again. Sometimes when this stuff happens, you lose yourself in all of it. And so take the time to really remember, what are the things that you used to do? It doesn't matter how old you are. Think back five years of something that made you really happy. What about that made you happy? Are you still doing it? And if not, if you aren't, why not? I mean, of course, a lot of us, I mean, I think back to a time when I didn't have to actually work to pay bills. I worked when I was a teenager, since I was 14. But, and I had to pay for most of my stuff when I was 16, like anything, not food and stuff, but, you know, anything else I wanted, makeup, magazines, whatever. I had to pay for my own. We didn't have money, though, so I, I mean, I'm not complaining. We didn't have the money, but, um, and that's okay. Um, but, I mean, it's, it's, it's so much easier when you don't have to pay any bills. For any of you young people out there, if you're listening, it is. It's so much easier when you don't have bills to pay. And I think back on that and think, wow, it was fun. I would go out with my friends. I could go to concerts. I could do this. I could do that. Even though I worked in between, it was a different time. And that's just an example. But, I mean, go back and think about what made you happy and find a way back to that, you know? All right. So let's do... So that's the obvious part here. You know, maybe you've been reminiscing about things or trying to think. Now, underlying, this is a little bit deeper. Two of Cups. 
underlying this is now two of cups can indicate partnership it's duality but i see the two of cups especially in a reading like this is more of the masculine feminine energy coming together and working together to help us balance out our lives and understand our lives a little better because the feminine energy is usually based more on emotion, whereas the masculine energy is more on logic, not logic. They don't base their decisions necessarily on emotion. Um, and of course, it depends on what you have in your chart, but in general. So when you balance it out, when you get to a point, you step back and you don't let your emotions take over and make a decision or you don't get too logical where you forget what makes you feel good. You know, it's a balance between the two. So underlying all of this. Finding what makes you happy. Try to focus on that. The Page of Wands is very much about, uh, you know, um, very much a go-getter and adventurous and things like that. And maybe you'd like to travel. Maybe you'd like to, to be more adventurous, whether you were or not before. Either you want to now or maybe you were before and you stopped doing that. Okay, I hope this is making sense. I mean, um... I'm sorry, I'm looking at the one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five, we're on five. Um, I'm hoping this is making sense. All right, the five of pentacles. This is past energies. Now, you now obviously, this is kind of an obvious card. You could come from a poor background, or maybe you are in financial. I mean, with COVID, a lot of us are in financial um, strain, so to speak, many of us. But, you know... The five of of pentacles to me is a lacking though, and it's it's. I feel like and many of you are feeling like you lack a support system. You feel isolated. You feel left out in the cold. That you wish people would know, what you were going through or could help, and maybe you haven't verbalized that. You know what I mean? So with the um five of pentacles. In this particular, I mean, this person's wounded and they're walking in the cold and they're miserable, basically. They're miserable. But what they don't realize is this is a church right here. This is a stained glass window. And there's a church door right there. Well, I mean, that's the assumption. But there's the, there's a church that they can go into and get help. So what this card to me is saying that although you may think you're isolated or you're on your own and, and it's you're dealing with some sort of loss and, you know, it may not be a specific loss, but I mean loss as far as feeling good. You've lost that good feeling or you're having issues with that. That there is help available. You're, it's, it's not, it's more of how you're viewing it. Necess no, not necessarily that you actually are. There, there are, if you don't have family and friends, there are organizations or, you know, helplines, organizations that have deal with mental health, even if it's just anxiety or anything like that. There are people that will do that. You can come on here and do, you know, readings for mental health. But it's, I'm just saying there are options or other options. So now we're going to go to moving forward, what we can do to move forward. So this is um, interesting. For some of you, I'm hearing that you may have been resistant to... You've either been attacked and you don't want to talk about it because you feel that people will attack you or ostracize you, regardless of whatever your issue is, or you've resisted something, whether you've resisted help. Hold on, I'm still trying to channel here. Yeah, I, I'm feeling the energy that... You're strong. First of all, you're stronger than you think you are. If you look in the picture, the the person and the um, the wand, the the you know, is a lot bigger than these other ones. So these can either be people, or these can be issues or problems. But you are stronger than you think you are. So moving forward, remember that there is a strength. There's a strength within you. I wouldn't be surprised if the strength card didn't come up. There's a, a strength within you that I don't think you realize. And this guy is teetering on a cliff. If you look, he's teetering on a cliff. Um, 
But you're strong enough to forge forward and plow through all of these because you're bigger. You're stronger. You're stronger than you realize. I'm just going to leave that one there because I want you to know. And that goes for all of you. You know, the, everyone, I think people don't realize their uh, abilities, you know, the, the depths of their ab abilities until they actually do something bold and then they realize, holy crap, you know. So contributing on, where am I? Moving forward. Oh, this is you and your energies. Okay, three of swords. This is, yes, you're, you're hurting. Many of you are hurting, if not a good number of you are hurting. And that's understandable. You know, we all um, go through periods where, you know, mental health issues are hard. And again, I've been through, I still struggle with them. So I'm, I'm not going to lie, I still struggle with them. And I'm going through stuff right now, and I won't get into that. But maybe at some point I'll tell my story so people can understand things a little bit better. But, you know, I go through waves. Like, some days I'm okay. I'm very stressed out now. And I really want to get these readings out, and things are getting in my way. Blah, 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 blah. You know, that kind of thing. So it's hurtful because I just want to be left alone. I want to be with myself and be able to clear my mind. Okay? So I'm sure there are some of you that feel the same way. And it hurts. It hurts to be depressed. It hurts when people don't understand you. It hurts when you don't know what to do. There's hurt left and right. The thing about the Three of Swords is, though, because the Four of Swords after this, if you are familiar with the Tarot, is a person lying down with the Four of Swords, and it's basically a card of, of being alone, recharging, and meditation. So this Three of Swords, although it's hurtful, is there is healing. There is healing that, that will come. Okay, just so you know, there is healing that will come. And so we have what? Contributing factors, your contributing factors, the lovers. There's the masculine feminine energy again. And this lover's card is about choice. But right now what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing as well is it's tempting. There's the temptation. They, they, you know, if you're into religion, this is kind of a religious card. There's this is Adam and Eve supposedly. That's the tree of, of whatever, not the tree of life. But the, when she ate the apple, whatever took the bite of the apple. Uh, there's the flames. You know, um, it's tempting to just push our issues aside because we just don't want to deal with them. But that is definitely not good for your mental health. As hard as it is to dig deep and deal with things, and when things come to surface, it's tough. But it's best to deal with it. And spirit and the universe wants you to know, because you see the sun behind the angel, that the angel, they're watching over you. Spirit and the universe is watching over you and are there at your side, supporting you. No matter if there's no one else in your life, you have your guardian angels, and if you believe in that, um, your higher masters, whoever that may be, your, gar your guardians, not guardians, your guides is what I meant to say, they are with you. So it's a tough decision, you know, to, what to do. However, they are guiding you. So it's, it, again, it's balancing your emotions and the logic. It may be emotionally ch um, challenging as far as dealing with it, but logic will tell you that that is a necessary part of the journey to, in order to heal and be a better you, a better version of you. All right, we're almost, we're almost at the end here. So the actions you can take, oh, this is beautiful. Nine of Pentacles is independence, is, you know, the Pentacles are about riches. So it can be, yes, it can be about a job and, and money and finances. But I'm thinking when you go through this, some of the things that in this reading, you are going to come out of it on your own. The work you've done on your own. Well, you know, if you're working with professionals too, mental health professionals or whatever, but still you're doing the work. They're guiding you. They're helping to support you. You are doing the work. You are the one that has to deal with whatever it is that has happened to you or you're dealing with. You're doing it. They're just helping you along. Same with this reading. You are doing it. Remember that. And that's what this card is saying. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of independence. And you are going to be rewarded internally so well. And this person is just, I don't know if you can tell from the picture, but it's just so content. All this back here is all the growth that you are achieving. And you're, you're probably in the process now. I'm hoping this will help in some way. But um, remember these five pentacles? 
that you were afraid of being there are the five pentacles there oh there's six so you've got six here and three more which means you do that internal work soul searching little by little it's not going to happen overnight you know it, it can even be month to month you know it's 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 a challenging thing but it's well worth it because at the end you're going to be independent of all that excess baggage anything you may be carrying with you and you're going to understand it better you're going to learn so many lessons that what you've learned and what you've gained is much more than anything that anybody else could give you does that make sense and everyone all of you out there you deserve this you deserve to be able to do this and get the happiness you deserve now the advice from the guides and the angels higher masters for growth and moving forward i saw the card i don't want anyone to freak out here it's the tower card but i want to tell you why that seems appropriate to me so moving forward some of the stuff that we do is maybe learned behavior or maybe we've been doing something um to cope with things that are not healthy for us but we do it over and over and over because that's all we know or it's easier that way because we just don't want to have to deal with all this internal stuff that comes up i don't want to have to think about it it hurts yes three of swords it hurts but the tower is saying but what you're walking around isn't a steady solid foundation you know it could crack at any minute you know you could have like i'm going to say you could have a breakdown if it goes too far and you hold it in and you don't let it out some people go through breakdowns you know and then they have to go through therapy and what have you so what the tower is saying that something has to be torn down it has to be torn down in order for it to be built back up so we're going to tear down those walls that's how i'm saying this tear down those walls be open be open to be a little bit vulnerable as hard as it may be tear down those walls because we're going to we're going to rebuild brick by brick you know section by section and the next thing you know, you've got this beautiful castle. You are this beautiful stoic castle or whatever you want to, however you want to call yourself. But you, you've got a solid foundation because no one, no one can break you because you've got that, that sturdy foundation. Does that make sense? So you're going to tear down the walls, make yourself vulnerable, and, and then you're going to rebuild. And it's going to be a much better version of you. It's going to be so much stronger and so much better than what you could have ever imagined people <laughs> i would like to actually clarify but i don't think it's necessary in this kind of reading because it's all pretty much here and i hope some portion of this at least was helpful for at least some of you if it was if this did resonate or if this helped first of all please let me know in the comments i would like to know i'm going to do this like i said every monday through may but if this is something you would like to continue to work on and we'll just do like check-ins mental health check-ins we can do that and it won't be as long as this one because i just did that first one you know i'm not going to do that for every video then the other ones will just be going into the readings you know unless i have a little tidbit of information but that's not probably going to happen uh this was a longer one because it was the first one but i would appreciate it if you like this and it, and some of it resonated or if it helped a thumbs up please i would really appreciate that not only does it help my channel which i absolutely appreciate um, it supports the channel, but it gets the message out. So in the algorithm, when you give a, a, a when you comment or do a thumbs up, it sends it out to the algorithm so other people who may need this message can receive it. Um, and I would absolutely love if you would subscribe and join the tribe. I would love to have you here. I like to have versatility here at the channel. I'd like to hear from a whole different group of people you know, whatever, from different countries, whatever. And I would like to have a community here where people can come here, feel safe, and work on things that everybody's interested in working on. I am going to be doing shadow work um, videos, too, on a regular basis, once a week. So I've, I also have Zodiac signs up if you're interested, if you haven't seen that. I have, uh, I'm only up to, uh, I haven't done, I did the first four Zodiacs, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. I was going to do Leo, but it's not going to happen tonight because I'm ready to pass out. <laughs> But then I have to go to work tomorrow very early. Uh, not this, but another job. <laughs> um, so uh, I don't get paid for this. <laughs> uh, that's okay, though. That's not what I do this for. Um, I love this. I love this. I wish I could do this full time because I love this. Um, anyways, so I would love for you to join the tribe. Subscribe and join the tribe. You know, 
and then hit that bell icon button and whenever I have uploads and I'm going to do them very regularly as much as I possibly can you'll get notified and then you can pick and choose which ones you want to watch and which ones you don't want to watch um, you know so um, thank you so much for joining though whether you are a subscriber or not whether you're returning or you're new doesn't matter to me thank you so much for being here I love you all I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope this helps that's the point in doing this I hope it helps join me next Monday look for it Again, subscribe, hit that bell, um, and it'll be, it will be Mental Health Mondays, so they'll be on Mondays, um, and I will do another one, and we'll have a reading and see where everyone's at at that point, and where the collective is, okay? Thank you so much. I thank you again for joining, and I hope to see you again. Join us again next Monday, or any other reading I do. Join us. Subscribe. Join the tribe. <laughs> thank you so much. Hope to see you again. Bye-bye. All right, now I can't find where to turn it off. There it is. Okay.